happy to talk this through for members, on, you know, privately on member legal services as to what you might want to do and what decisions you might want to make in your workplace. But um, I think what a lot of private businesses in Pennsylvania are doing is they're plowing forward and making their own decisions about masks, about temperature taking. Keep in mind, you can always do more than the government requires um, uh, because we do have an obligation as employers to provide a safe workplace. So let me just go through quickly um, some of this stuff and then hopefully we're going to get to Judy. Um, these are some of what some of the big companies are doing and I think it's really instructive to see what they are doing and it helps us decide what we are going to do as employers. As you see, the, the big tech companies are pretty flexible, right? Um, they're bringing folks back a couple of days a week. Some of them are even allowing um, employees to make their own decisions. They're not being very rigid in their approaches. Um, again, these are tech companies. They tend to attract um, uh, a younger workforce. They tend to attract a workforce that um, is looking for flexibility. Um, so not that surprising. And then you go to the, you know, the more conservative employers, um, the banks. And for most, the most part, they want people in the office as much as possible. Um, they think that it's really important um, to have employees in the office. Morgan Stanley, for example, if you go to a, new, a restaurant in New York City, you can come to the office and we want you in the office. Um, and that sort of goes to the survey results that we had for MEA. As you recall, in June, we asked these questions. As federal and state restrictions allow, what are your plans for employees returning to the physical workspace? And assuming conditions and government restrictions allow, when do you anticipate the change taking effect? We got over 100 responses. And if you compare our, our um, the results from April and from June, obviously they've changed a little bit. So right now, most folks are anticipating two to four days in the workplace. Um, some employers are leaving it up to employee choice. Um, but again, for the most part, employers want employees back at least some days a week. Um, some additional comments here. You know, we're, we're thinking about flexibility a lot, right? We're transitioning back slowly. Labor Day is going to be the, the real test. And I think that's what most employers are doing because we don't know exactly what's going to be happening with schools, but we think most, most students will be back in schools full-time in person, and that's going to make it a lot easier for working parents to get themselves back to the workplace. And then asking that second question, you know, when do you think this is going to happen? Um, a lot of our members, 40% have their, uh, you know, they're ramped up, they're hybrid it now in effect, um, but a good majority um, or a good chunk are also waiting till after Labor Day. So again, you guys will get copies of these slides in the email that goes out after, um, the presentation. 